This video is going to show you how to add citations and bibliography into a Google Doc. To do this, go to Tools, click and scroll down and click on Citations. This will open up a sidebar where you can select the style of your citations. These include MLA, APA, or the Chicago Author Date Style. Under the style that you are going to be working on, you can click on Add Citation Source. Once you have clicked that, you can now select your source type. This can be a book, a website, a book section, journal article, newspaper article, film, TV series, TV episodes, and miscellaneous. For this example, we will choose a book. Now you can select how you accessed your source. Was it a print source? Was it a website, an online database? So if we are doing a print source, you can click on print. Now to add your citation, you can either search by the ISBN number or you can cite it manually. In a book, the ISBN number of the book can be found on the inside cover with details of copyright and other pieces of information, such as the author and who published it. If you decide to cite the source manually, you are then going to type in the information for any of the fields that have the blue asterisk on it. So in the case of this example, if we were going to be using Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, the information that you would be typing in would be the first and last name of the author. You would choose corporation if there are lots of authors, such as if you were citing a NASA source, then if there is a lot of authors for that particular source, you can check off and say corporation or organization and name the organization or corporation. If there are contributors to the particular publication or there are more, you can click and add the names of the additional authors. The next field is the title, the publisher, and the published year. So in cases of books, you will find all of that information on the inside cover of the book. There are other pieces of information you can add, such as the city where it was published, the edition, the volume, or the number of volumes, or a short title. These are not required. As you can see, they do not have an asterisk next to them. If you are choosing a website, if the website has an author, or an editor, or a translator, you can add that information, or the name of the corporation, the title of the website, the publisher of the website, the published year, and again, the same kinds of information. In this situation, because it's a website, you can also add the URL or the web address of the website and the day, the month, and the year that you accessed the website. You also have online databases with the same kind of information that you can add in there. So for this particular example, since I have said the statement, Harry Potter is the boy who lived, and I'm getting my source from the novel, I can type in the information for the book. Now that I have typed in all the information under the Cite Manually feature, I can click Add Citation Source. And over here, this has now added my citation source. If I wanted to add the citation source into my Google document right next to my statement, I can go over here and click Cite. And what it does is it tells me that my citation for the statement is Rowling, and I can put in a page number for this particular statement. Once I have added all my citations in here and I want to create my bibliography, I'm now ready to do that by inserting my cursor in the location where I want my bibliography to show up and then click on Insert Works Cited. Once this is done, I will get a pop-up message that says I can remove sources that are not cited in the text from Works Cited if I want to do that. Close it up and this will create a list of my bibliography. So for Google Docs, this is one way of citing your sources by using the built-in citation and bibliography tool and then creating your bibliography.